Alright, welcome back to yet another skin making tutorial. Today we will be going ahead and adding a texture from the shading tab over in Blender. So we can use some materials and use some textures like noise check textures or wave textures to actually make a skin. So we will have to obviously import our OBJ file. Uh, for this tutorial we will be using a USB. And we want to create a texture for the silencer. So we first have to separate the silencer from the gun. So then we will go ahead and enter edit mode like so by hitting tab or you can click edit mode up here. Then we want to make sure we are in phase select mode and then you just want to hover over the part and you want to click L. Then you see it will become orange and you will have to do this for every part of the uh, silencer. So hit L for every part. I'm going to do this fairly quickly so I'm probably going to miss a few spots but it's just for the tutorial. But if you want to really make it, you want to make sure you have selected everything because th sometimes there are like small areas like over here, which you have to click separately. All right, so that's pretty much all we need for the silencer. So then what you want to do, if you have everything selected that you want to change, you want to click on P, you hit selection, and then you can go back to object mode by hitting tab. You want to click on the silencer, hit G and then Y to move it along the Y axis and just move it away from there. Now as you can see we have separated the silencer from the gun. In my case I will just rename that to silencer. Then what we want to make sure is um, we have a new material over here. So we can name this whatever we want. I'll just keep it default for now. And then we want to go over to the shading tab up here. Alright so once we are in the shading editor and we come to the bottom here in the shader editor. We want to add a few nodes. So hit shift A and then add a texture coordinate. We also need a mapping node. We will also need a noise texture. That's the wrong one. We need a noise texture. And we want the texture we want to use. So in this case we will be going ahead and adding a brick texture just for fun. You can use a lot of those textures over there. But that's something you'll just have to play with and find what's best for you. So then we want to link up all of these nodes together. I forgot one. We need a displacement as well. There we go. So then you want to link all of this together. So the object goes into the vector of the mapping. Then the mapping vector goes into the vector of the noise texture. The color of the noise texture goes into the vector of the brick texture. And then the brick texture goes over to the height of the displacement and the displacement goes into the displacement. So then you can see that this kind of pattern shows up. So in order to change this, what we can do is change the base color over here. So we can have a different color for the battle. We can also play around with this to make it more metallic. Or if you want the roughness to go up or down, you can do that as well. So you can just play around with this and go and do this until you find a nice pattern that you like. In this example, I will just be playing around with it a little bit. You just obviously have to find what's right for you. So I'm happy with this for now. Uh, so we can just continue with the tutorial, which is actually going ahead and baking these images onto your uh, weapon so that you can view it in game. So I will just finish up a little bit of this. We will just make this a more bright color so we can actually see it. And then we will continue with the baking. Alright, so if we are happy with our skin and we want to actually bake the skin onto the UV sheets and onto the normal sheets, what we will have to do is first set up our render engine. So we come over here to render properties and we want to make sure the render engine is set to cycles. Then over here we want to make sure device is set to GPU compute. If this is disabled for you, what you will need to do is you will have to come over to the top left, over at Edit, then Preferences, and over here we want to make sure under System, and then CUDA, our GPU is enabled, so checked. Then you can have the option for GPU Compute over there. Alright, so once we have the render engine set up, what we want to do is find some lighting for our uh, gun. So it actually shows up shiny in game when we actually bake the image onto the UV sheets. So there is a website called polyhaven.com. I will leave a link in the description. And we want to browse these HDRIs for which we can actually find some good lighting. 
the ones I like using are studio lighting. So actually go ahead and click on it and you can download it right over there. Uh, you can use all sorts of different lighting. Uh, this is just really up to you what you like. But I like using the studio ones. So once you have the lighting set up, what we want to do is come over here to world. So once we are in the world tab, we want to add a environment texture. So over here we search for environment texture. And then we have to click on open. And then we just want to find where we have stored it. All right, so before we actually bake, we want to make sure we have a image texture added to our different parts of the weapon. In our case, the silencer and the actual gun. So we just come over here, we add a image texture. Now we don't have one yet in this project, so we will just click new, name this UV. We want to make sure this is 2048 by 2048 and hit OK. Then once we have done this, we can just hit Ctrl C and we go over to our pistol and then we actually need to add a material to this and then we can just paste this over here as well. Then once we have done that, we can go ahead and actually take a look at how we can continue the baking process. So what we want to do is actually come over here. We want to go over to render and then over here at the bottom, we want to make sure that we have selected the um, bake option. And then over here, we want to make sure this is set to combined and we will also be using normal later on. Uh, then go to the bottom here and make sure that the margin size is set to zero. And then once we are happy with everything, we can go ahead and actually click on bake. But first we want to make sure that we go over here and we have our UV selected. So we have the silencer selected, we have UV selected, and then we can actually go ahead and bake this image. So we will go back over here to bake, make sure the margin is set to zero. And then we can actually go ahead and click on bake over here. All right, so as we can see, we have now baked the actual silencer onto our diffuse map over here, the UV map. So once we have done this, we want to go over here and we want to hit shift alt S so we can export it to our uh, desktop in this case. We will name this something like silencer UV whatever you want, it does not really matter. And then what we want to do is we want to bake the normal map. So what we need to do is go over here to bake type and we want to click on normal. And then we actually hit bake again. And this will create the normal map on top of our UV map so that we can actually have the two different pieces combined together because the diffuse map only works for the metallic and stuff like that and the normal map actually works for the uh, the texture I think. Right so that should look something like this. So then we want to hit shift alt s again and we want to save this something like silencer normal and then save as image and then we also have to repeat this process for the weapon over here which in our case is just a simple uh, one-time thing for the combined type. And then we bake this and then we are done with that as well. All right, so once this part is also done, we want to hit Shift Alt S and we want to just rename this to our USP UV and then save as image. So now we are done in Blender and what we want to do is come over to GIMP and we want to import all of these separate uh, PNGs and diffuse maps over to GIMP. Alright, so once we have GIMP opened, we want to search the images from our desktop. So over here we have uh, uh, all of this. Do we want to actually add the UV parts over to our uh, GIMP? So we can just select those and paste those in here. Actually, what we have to do is do this with one first and then we import the second. So that's my bad. So we actually import these one as a layer and then we actually select the desktop and we want to hit the USB and open. So that way it is added to the image over here. Then what we want to do is come over to the bottom right over here and we want to actually make a, a new from visible layer so that we have uh, one layer over here with everything and we still have these separate parts. So then what we want to do, we want to go and right click 
and we want to add a layer mask to this make sure it is white all right so now we actually want to add the different alpha channels so what we want to do is we want to make sure the silencer is selected we only make this visible then we select the fuzzy tool and we click anywhere except for parts of the silencer and then we hit Control i to actually invert this and have every part of the silencer selected then we want to come over to the full image again and over here we want to select the bucket tool and we want to choose a color between white and black in this case i will use a dark gray and we actually want to paint the silencer with that color all right i forgot to uh, hide the silencer so it actually worked um so that is that so we have the dark gray over here you can actually see it over here on this layer mask and then what we want to do is we want to make sure we do the same but a lighter gray color for every other part of the gun so we hit ctrl i to select everything except the silencer and then we go over there and we click it and then we can see that everything in here has had its own layer mask and we can see that the lighter parts will now wear more when we change the float in game all right so once we are done with the alpha sheet or i mean the alpha channel what we want to do is hit shift ctrl e and we want to export this as a tga file so i will name this uv sheet.tga then once this window pops up we just want to click export so then what we can do is open up the normal sheet and we want to actually go ahead and open with gimp so now we have that over here all right so for this one all we have to do is we have to actually uh, export this as a tj so we don't need to change anything to this so we will just name this normal sheet the tga and then what we can do is open up cs2 right so once we launch cs2 we need to select the workshop tools if you haven't watched any of my previous videos um, i will just tell you right now if you don't see this option you will have to first launch up cs2 and there will be an option to download these workshop tools or install or something along those lines in the settings so then if you have selected that you will just need to restart and then you have this option so then you click on play and then a new window will pop up over here and we want to make sure we launch workshop item tools all right so once you are in here we want to make sure we have the right weapon selected which in our case is the usb then over here we want to click on the yellow folder and we want to make sure we have added the material over to our game so what we want to do is go to content csgo then we want to go to materials and in our custom folder we want to add the UV sheet and the normal sheet. I notice I have some old ones right over there, so I will just delete those. But then we just copy these into here, and then we can actually go back to CSGO, or CS2, I mean. And then we select the base texture over here, which will be the UV sheet. So we can exit out of that. Then we want to make sure we do this, materials, custom, and then UV uh, normal or whatever I called it, I honestly forgot already, UV sheet TJ. so not the normal one, my bad. Uh, once we have done this, we want to go to the bottom, and we want to select use custom normal map over here, and then as well over here, we want to make sure we are in materials, custom, and then normal.tga, which in my case is normal sheet.tga. So once we have done this, all we have to do is launch up this over here. So we click preview in the top right, and then this will open up CS2, and we should be able to see our skin in game over here. All right, so as you can see, we are now in game. Uh, I may have chosen a bit of a wrong color, but the texture is on there for sure. I can see it. I don't know if it's really visible on video, but you should be able to see your texture and yeah once we have done this all we have to do is make some fine tunings and release it to the workshop so if you actually got something out of this video or if you have any more questions uh, you can leave a comment on the video and i will just answer it right away well maybe not right away but uh, very fast and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and until next time bye bye